Are you tired of losing to the Karakon defense? Well, you're not alone. And after this video, you'll be able to crush all your opponents who played the opening. And no, this is not a cheap opening trick that goes something like this. So the Karakon defense goes e4, c6, d4, d5, and then I recommend to you the advanced variation. After the opponent plays bishop f5, the main line, you will go h4, which is named the tall variation. The point is to trap the bishop. If they play something like e6, which I have gotten many games in which my opponent just pre-moves e6, then you play g4, and then f3, and the bishop is literally trapped. But let's assume that your opponent actually has at least 10 brain cells. Your opponent will probably play the main line, which is h5. This completely prevents g4 and sets up an escape score on h7 for the bishop to retreat to. You'll go bishop d3, and after he trades, if they let you, you play e6, sacrificing a pawn for a deadly attack. If they do play e6, which is the best move, then just develop your knight to f3. If they go c5, which is again the best move, just take it and then castle. And you have a comfortable position. Your idea is to go queen b5 check, which forks the king and the bishop, and also the b7 pawn. The black king is still in the center, so you have a lot of attacking possibilities. If they give you a check, it's no problem. All you do is block. If they offer a queen trade, just take it and get castled. Very comfortable position. If they go anywhere back, c4 is absolutely crushing. Takes, takes, knight d7, and then knight c3. You can castle either way. It doesn't really matter. Preferably kingside, but you have a very comfortable position. You're nearly plus one on the eval bar. After h4, your opponent can also play h6. All you do is kick out the bishop. It goes back to h7. Now the bishop can't be trapped, but now you do get to play e6. They will take. That's the best move. And then you'll go bishop d3. You'll trade off the bishops. Your next move is basically going to be queen g6. Like if they play c5, which is a, one of the best moves, then you're just going to play queen g6 and... The king's in the middle, bring all your pieces to attack it. It's basically an easy game from here. But if they do play queen d6, which is the main line, you don't actually want to play king g6 because the king can actually escape. So what you want to do first is play f4. When they develop, you're going to go knight f3. Note that this pawn cannot actually be taken because this is a fork and you win the knight. I actually only recommend knight f3 because of this move, but... If you know your opponents are not going to play that, I just recommend going queen g6 and then knight f3 first because now the king has lost its castling rights and your knight will jump in the center and go attack it. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.